In my previous video, I showed you what an Apple shortcut is, how to create a shortcut and how to run it. If you haven't watched that already, the link will be in the description. So go ahead and watch that first. But we would have covered only one or two ways to trigger the shortcut. In this video, I'll show you not one, not two, but 10 different ways to trigger an Apple shortcut. Shortcuts is truly a super powerful app and getting to know these 10 easy ways to invoke a shortcut is just going to supercharge your shortcuts experience. So let's get started. Let's start with super basic and then we'll get more and more advanced as we progress. This first way to invoke a shortcut is, well, obviously within the shortcuts app. Open the shortcuts app, you will see all your shortcuts as styles. Just tap on one and it'll start executing. One pro tip here, if you have a ton of shortcuts and it gets messy to find and organize, tap on this top left shortcuts button. Here, tap on this icon on top right to add custom folders. Now long press on any shortcut and tap on move to, move it to a custom folder. This way, you can have all your shortcuts neatly organized and you can find them super easily using folders from here. Okay, number two. Every time you want to run a shortcut, going into the shortcuts app, going to a folder and tapping on them to execute is pretty tedious, right? Let's shorten it even more. Long press on a shortcut in your shortcuts app. From the options, tap on share and here, tap on Add to Home Screen from the options. You can give it a name, icon and color. When you click Add, this shortcut will be added to your home screen just like any other app. To run that, just tap on the shortcut icon on the home screen and it'll start executing. Even faster, right? Believe me, we are going to make it even more efficient. Number three, if you have an Apple Watch, you can trigger your shortcuts right from your watch. There are multiple ways here actually. Your watch has an app called Shortcuts app and you can tap on any of the shortcuts present in the watch app to start running. Another pro tip here, not all shortcuts on your phone will show up on your Apple Watch shortcuts. You have to enable them. For example, I want this shortcut to show up on my watch. I'll open it using three dots, then tap on eye icon at the bottom of the screen. Here, I will toggle the show on Apple Watch option. Now, when I open shortcuts app on Apple Watch, it'll show up there and I can run them easily. But the advantage of using shortcuts on my watch is I don't carry my phone everywhere around my home. If I'm upstairs and I quickly want to run a shortcut from my smart home, I can run them through my watch without needing my phone. One more tip, if your watch face has complications, you can add one of your shortcuts directly to your watch face and with a single tap, you can run all your shortcuts right from your wrist. Okay, number four, using Siri. You see, Siri knows the name of every single shortcut you create in the Shortcuts app. So whenever you want to run a shortcut, you don't need to open the Shortcuts app. You don't need to tap on the home screen button. Just invoke Siri with the power button or with voice and then just say the name of the shortcut. Siri will start running the shortcut automatically for you. The advantage of using Siri are two things. One, you can use it even if your phone is not in your hands. But second, you can use Siri on all other devices too, even if your phone is not around. For example, I can just lift my wrist to activate Siri on my watch and say the shortcut name. And Siri will run the shortcut for me. Be sure to enable the rise to speak option. If you have HomePod mini, you can ask Siri to run the shortcut there. If you have an Apple TV, invoke Siri there to run shortcuts from there. You have a Mac, invoke it there. Just configure it once in your phone and invoke it from anywhere with Siri. So easy, right? That's number four. Let's move on to number five. If you have an iPhone 15 Pro, iPhone 16, iPhone 16 Pro or even newer iPhone 16e, you will have an extra action button on this side. You can configure the action button to invoke any shortcut on your phone. To do this, go to settings, tap on action button, here, swipe until you find shortcuts. Tap on choose a shortcut and from the list of all your shortcuts, select any shortcut for it to run when you press and hold the action button. Once configured, you can start running the shortcut just by pressing and holding the action button even if the screen is locked. 
It's super quick and super useful. The best part is you can create a shortcut which will perform one action in the morning and the different action in the evening. So when I push the action button in the morning, it'll take a quick note for me. And when I push it in the evening, it'll open the flashlight for me. We are halfway there. And if you're finding this video useful, please like and subscribe to the channel. Also, please comment below if you want me to expand on any of the Apple shortcut topics. Number six, check this out. I double tap on the back of my iPhone and all my lights turn off. I triple tap and I automatically start navigating to work. But these are my custom shortcuts which run when I double tap or triple tap my phone. Let me show you how to do this. Go to settings and then to accessibility. Now under touch, scroll down to the end and you will see this back tap option. Under this, you will see double tap and triple tap. Here you can select what should happen if you double tap or triple tap on the back of your iPhone. Select double tap and scroll below. Here you will see a section called shortcuts and you will see all your shortcuts you have created below. I'm going to pick create task shortcut as an example here. Now when I double tap, it will run my shortcut which will create a to do task for me and it will add it to my reminders. Similarly, you can select a shortcut for the triple tap as well. Number seven, running shortcuts from the handy control center. In iOS 18, control center is even more customizable than ever and running shortcuts from there is even more easier. Since iOS 18 supports multi-page customizable control center, I've created a whole page just for my shortcuts with varying shortcuts and sizes as per my priority. To do this, go to control center and tap on plus icon at the top, then tap add a control at the bottom here. Here either scroll down to the shortcut section or for an easier way just search shortcuts here. A shortcut tile will be added to the control center page. You can resize it big or small but more importantly tap on it to configure which shortcut should run when you tap on it. I'm going to choose set wallpaper shortcut. So every time I tap on this shortcut from the control center, it's going to randomly pick a wallpaper from one of my albums and set it as a wallpaper for me. Time for a pro tip. Instead of selecting a single shortcut in the control center, you can pick a whole shortcut folder when you're configuring the shortcut. So anytime you tap on the control center tile, it's going to show all your shortcuts from that folder and you can execute one among them. Now the reason to organize and categorize the shortcuts. Neat, right? Okay, I hope we are making it even more easier to run a shortcut. The next one is even more handy. Number eight, if you don't know about it already, in iOS 18, you can configure the default controls on the lock screen, which means you can set a shortcut to be run from the lock screen directly. Just long press on the lock screen, tap on customize and tap on the minus sign on the default control. I have an iPhone 16 Pro Max, so I have the camera button to open the camera and I don't need it on the lock screen. I'll remove that. Now I'll tap add, search for shortcuts and add it. I'll configure it to open the calculate tip widget. Now, right from my lock screen, I can long press the shortcut to open a shortcut, which will calculate the tip for me when I'm in a restaurant or outside. I can even add a shortcut as a widget on my lock screen. Same process, long press, customize, and under the clock, tap to add a widget. And in this case, a shortcut. You don't even need to long press, just tap, the shortcut will run for you. We're almost towards the end, eight down and two more to go. But the last two are my favorite. You don't even need to do anything to run these shortcuts in these methods. That's right, number nine is to let the shortcuts run by itself whenever you need it. But how? Well, you can configure shortcuts to run automatically based on some trigger. For example, at a certain time of the day, at a certain place, or when you get an email from someone, etc. It's better with an example. Let me show you. Go to shortcuts app. At the bottom, there is a tab called automation. Tap on it. Now select the plus symbol at the top. This is to add a new automation. In here, you can see all these options like time of the day, when the alarm is stopped, when I arrive at some place, etc. 
these are all the triggers basically instead of you manually running a shortcut you can tell it to run a shortcut when something happens i like leave option which will run if i leave a certain place every time i leave my home i have a shortcut that i run which will turn off all my lights send a text to my husband enable work focus mode and turn on all the security system instead of me manually running it i can set the automation here to run it automatically when i leave home that's amazing right it will never forget to do all those for me even if i forget there are so many triggers here which you can choose to run any of your shortcuts automatically okay last one number 10 this is based on an automation of shortcuts which we just saw do you see these coin size tags these are like 10 dollars for 50 of them these are called nfc tags it's the same thing which when tapped at a store will make mobile payments in shortcuts app you can configure to run a specific shortcuts when you tap on one of these i'll show you how go to shortcuts go to the automation tab here add a new automation for a trigger scroll down and select nfc now tap on scan and place the phone on top of the nfc tag the tag is scanned now i'll choose which shortcut to run when i tap on this nfc tag this tag will be on my main door so i want my security alarm to be turned on when i leave the house i'll choose the shortcut which will do that i'll also let it run immediately without asking confirmation That's it. These NFC tags have stickers on them and I've stuck this on my main door. So every time I leave the house, I just tap on it before leaving and that will enable our security system. I have more NFC tags throughout our home. The one next to our media room will turn on TV room lights and turn on Apple TV. The one next to our side table will turn on and off the room lights. The one in our storage boxes will tell us what's inside the box when it's scanned. There are so many use cases and your imagination is the limit. All right, those are 10 ways to trigger shortcuts from your iPhone. Drop a comment and tell me which one was your favorite. Also, like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. This is Sanjana. Bye-bye.